and welcome back to my channel. If you're a returning subscriber, if you're new here, hi, my name is Caroline and here on my channel, we celebrate Halloween 365 days out of the year, every year. <laughs> it is finally time to decorate my front yard. I am so excited, you guys. This mm, was more difficult than I thought it was gonna be. Um, a lot of the inflatables I had didn't work anymore. So like I literally ended up throwing like three of them away. So I had to go and like get a new one. Um, I had to play with a lot of power cords and stuff like that. Uh, I'm trying to think of what else, but I tried my best. It's not, like I said, it's not like a full on crazy, crazy, crazy theme just because I have never had this big of a front yard to like really work with. We did get a new puppy as well. His name is Scott and uh, we didn't expect to really get him yesterday. So this video will be broken up over two different days. So if you see me wearing like different clothes, that is why. Uh, and I think he makes a little bit of a debut in the video, you guys will see. But I hope you guys enjoy this video. I hope this maybe gets some creative juices flowing for you or inspires you to want to decorate because it is now the last week of September, which is just like mind bottling. Like it's just, it's crazy. It's like, how is it already almost October? Like, and it's going to zoom by. So I wanted to go ahead and get everything decorated so I could at least enjoy it for, uh, you know, the time being in that way. It's like all this work I'm putting into it. I'm not just putting stuff up. Another thing I wanted to say, I didn't purchase Billy's head and Binx's grave, like his tombstone from Spirit. Yeah, I saw it in person. I thought it was gonna be like the size of Billy's grave. It's like the size of something you would put on your desk. So we didn't get that. And after taking two vacations, I really need to save my money. I don't really need to be spending a whole lot more money on Halloween decor. So but I think I think I'm gonna I'm gonna like my front yard from what I did get. I did get a lot of things at Walmart and I'll try to say where I got everything and if I hung it up some way, I'll try to tell you guys how I did. But I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you did a theme this year, let me know in the comments below. I'm really curious to see what everyone else is doing this year or how everyone else is decorating the front yard or even your house or your apartment. I am just so curious. Thank you guys so much for watching and enjoy the Decorate My Front Yard With Me video. All right, everyone. So to start out decorating my front yard, I am just putting on these Hocus Pocus panels that I got from Spirit this year. Um, and I totally realized I put them backwards. <laughs> so I'm having to correct them. And I did use these like sticky hooks that you can get at Walmart. They work great on brick. So if you were trying to do that, that is the place to get them. The next thing that I'm trying to do but failing is Billy's tombstone that I got from Spirit this year. I was working so hard to get the little picks in the ground and it was not working. I ended up breaking one of them and I was trying to slowly like get them in there. It just was not working. So I decided to lean it up against a tree and that seemed to work. The next thing that I have is this blow up and it got caught around my ankle. And this is like a little pumpkin blow up. I messed around with this for so long and it completely just did not work. So I ended up buying another one from Walmart, Mr. Jack Skellington holding Oogie Boogie and he worked perfectly. I love the Nightmare Before Christmas anyway. So this was perfect for me to buy and put in my front yard. So I decided I wanted to add a cobweb in these trees in my front yard. And these trees were absolutely perfect to use this cob webbing on because they were very as you can kind of see like the wood is kind of like sticking out so the cobweb ended up just sticking to it perfectly I got super lazy and tired it took me like two days to decorate the house so I ended up just not even cutting up the cobweb but I am as you can see here trying to kind of mess with it to make it look thinner but I ended up just using these two trees to do that and I think it's it's working out like I said the trees are holding it it's it's looking better but you know it, it took me a while to kind of mess with it and see what I liked what needed to be fixed what I didn't like 
Um, but that, I just, I guess that I got so lazy, so I didn't end up cutting it up. I just used the whole thing on these two trees. Next, I decided to bring in a hay barrel and it completely fell out as I was doing so, but I decided that this would look kind of cool and bring together a fall look underneath that tombstone. And this is the final product. So I did, as you can see here, put up some projectors, that ghost projector that I got a few years ago at Walmart. And I also got that, as you guys can see, like that red right there, that wave, that was supposed to be a Hocus Pocus projector from Walmart as well. But I don't know if I'm just doing it wrong or didn't take something off, but it's not projecting like this ghost one is. So if you guys have any like recommendations in the comments, I tried reading the instructions, but it doesn't really seem like there's anything to like take off on it that would make it show better. So I don't know what I'm going to do with it, <laughs> but um, thank you guys so much for watching. And this will probably be, I'll probably do like another part of one of these videos and add more to it. But this is the first step of decorating my front yard. Thank you guys again. And until next time, stay spooky. Bye guys.